We've uh, talked about all the buildings you might find in Minneapolis and the helpers and workers you might find there. We've also taken a look at communities around the world and how they're the same or different than the communities we know. Uh, boys and girls in the back, make sure you're looking out here to sing. They're a little bit nervous. This is a bigger group than we're used to performing for. And we talked about stories that are real and then stories that are fiction. Is this story real or nonfiction? Or is it fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. It's not real. But I want to introduce you to our pigs. Give away. Pigs. Our big bad wolf. We have the straw house, the stick house, and the brick house. So we present to you the three Here, stand little up for a second. pigs. Stand up for a second. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day they were old enough to each have a house of their own. But their mother warned them to build a house of straw so they would be safe from the big bad wolf.
Um, some, a part of our social studies curriculum is learning about wants and needs, and that's a really hard thing for five and six year olds around the holidays to distinguish between a want and a need. But boys and girls on the carpet, raise your hand if you can tell me something you need to live, not something you want, something you need. Daisy. A house. You need a house or a shelter to keep you warm and safe. Nathaniel. Um, Well, so celebrating, is that something we want or is that something we need? We want, right? We want to have fun and play, but we don't need that to live. What do we need to live? Griffin. Healthy food. Healthy food, yes. Lots of healthy food. George. Water. We need water, right? What else do we need, Delaney? We need oxygen, absolutely. We also need family, so thank you family for coming today because we talked about we're young and we need our families to help take care of us, right boys and girls? Something else we need is a home to protect us, right? And so we have a safe place to live. And we have a, st or a poem, it's called A Good House. So I'm gonna get them started and then I'm gonna tack down. Everybody, eyes up here, ready? Let's see if I can see everybody. Stand up so I can see everybody. One, two, three. This is the roof of the house so good. These are the walls that are made of wood. This is the window that lets in the light. This is the door that shuts so tight. This is the chimney so straight and tall. Oh, what a good house for one and all. art projects and stories so they'd love to share them with you. Um, I'm going to have people who are sitting in chairs before the kids come find their families stack the chairs up because if they're all stacked up it's easier for people to get through. Some of our projects are in the hall, some are in the classroom. They know where they are so you can get a program and they can show you. If you are taking your student home with you today please let me know so I can check them out. All right so boys and girls you're going to show your families all the projects right? Yeah. Chair people, will you stack your chairs up? And then when they're stacked, kindergartners, you will go and find your family.